Established in 1996 in King Williamstown, Hardware Warehouse is a retailer of low-cost building materials and associated products selling directly to predominantly cash-paying customers from 17 stores, mostly in the Eastern Cape. Hardware Warehouse has a market cap of 43.6 million rand and a price earnings of 66. Well, I hmm. must admit that I'm slightly <laughs> ignorant on this stock. It's obviously missed me from the listing perspective. But, Paul, I can see you Great are guys. You're well on this Great one. guys. You know, this is basically Boot and Soir from East London running this business. Sean Miller, the CEO, youngster, fabulous chap. Ivan Senna, who used to be with breweries, also a good old uh, Eastern Cape type. He looks like Shane Warne, I always say. They basically control the business the, between the them. The old Shane Warne, before Liz You know, the spin bowler from Australia, for those that aren't interested you miss in that. cricket. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a small business. It's got like a 50 million market cap. But they listed in the Alt X listing boom of 06, 07. They battled because, you know, almost as soon as they started, they did a very ill advised purchase of a plumbing business in Gunubi, <laughs> which you know, turned out... This stuff. How, how, how heavily invested are you in no, hardware no, no, warehouse? No. In that period, all these oaks came around and saw all the brokers, and so we got to see them, and, you know, we don't Did they convince anyone. you to buy the stock? I think we had, like, three or four people who owned the stock. Unfortunately, it trades like a pig, like all of those things. In other words, you've got buyers at 50 cents and sellers at a rand. I mean, it's totally hopeless, but they are doing well they expanded up to Matatiel and that area and they've got a number of stores in place the plumbing thing as i say in Gunubi was a real shocker but they've sold that back as far as i know and i actually think they're one of those businesses that could do well it's very much like cash build so if you want a regional cash build which is smaller and run by some solid oaks well you know maybe you want to buy a few of these if is you hardware get warehouse on on your radar screen given that you have got traction in this sector from an investment perspective uh, look, I mean, it's too small for us. It's a 43 million market cap. Um, it is like a small cash build, like Paul says. I mean, they've got 17 stores cash build. That's close on 200. It's very much that rural exposure. Um, what concerns me, the, uh, plus they've now gotten rid of the plumbing business and they've shown a very admirable, uh, admirable growth in the rest of the business, 20%, etc. Uh, what concerns me is the debt on the balance sheet, which I believe is close on 30 million. So 30 million debt on a market cap of 43 million is not exciting to me at all. Um, if you've got expansion plans, you've got working capital, uh, you've got competition coming in, you need to price effectively to be competitive. You need competitive. to have a strong balance sheet. You need to have a strong balance sheet. Um, so having that amount of debt is a concern for me. Hot or not? Hardware warehouse? The Eastern Cape, you've got to love it. You know, there are like X million people on social grants in the Eastern Cape, and then there's another like 500,000 that either never existed or died last year, but are still getting their grants. So, you know, there's strong business to be done in the rural hinterland of Siskai and Transkai. So it's smoking hot in your book. <laughs> Is it smoking hot? But you can't get the stock. I mean, you can't buy, you can't like last traded three weeks ago at 56 cents and now you must pay a rand in order to buy them. But I mean, we have a couple of Where clients who own this the hot stock. Hot or not, please. Hardware warehouse. Well, you know, you, uh, yeah. I mean, why not? You could have a hot for this one. All why right. Not? Daniel, hot or not, hardware warehouse. Uh, I think that you could get surprisingly good growth from a low base. Uh, you know, they've got 17 stores. If they add another two, that's nice growth. Uh, but in terms of a sustainable uh, growth uh, uh, outlook, in terms of the amount of competition coming in, plus the debt on the balance sheet, I'm not convinced, so I'd say not.